Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Harry Views back with another video and today I will show you guys a few tips and tricks that will help you maintain the battery health on your iPhone. Now, when it comes to battery health, there is zero chance that you can keep it at 100%. It will start going down the minute you power off your iPhone for the first time. But the amount that it will stay at 100% is of course always based on the capacity that your battery has. So let's say right here we have the iPhone 15 Pro Max, its capacity is around 4,000 milliamp hours, but no battery is the same. Even though in numbers, Apple says that it's 4,000, this one had way more. Like my battery here had like 4,500. That's why it stayed at 100% for a really, really long time, actually did that for eight months. And just now, this week, it has dropped to 99%. But of course, even though you might not be lucky and have a battery on your iPhone that has way more capacity than designed, you still can do a lot of things that will help you maintain the battery health of your iPhone, of course, on a really good state for a really, really long time. Now, first of all, what you need to know, charging cycles. Avoid maximizing the charging cycles of your iPhone. You can see right here, the device now has 245 charging cycles. Now, according to Apple, the iPhone here, this is, of course, the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and it should stay above 80% for 1000 cycles, other devices will be 500 cycles. So how to avoid maximizing the charging cycles of your iPhone. Now, some things that you will do daily, every day that will have a huge impact on battery life, causing you to just charge your iPhone way more often, are a few very simple things. First of all, a beta software. Don't install a beta on your iPhone unless you need it. I just installed it because I need to make videos on them. Otherwise, I wouldn't install a beta, especially a big release like iOS 18, which is coming out really soon. Another thing, apps. When you see apps that are actually draining the battery out of your iPhone, which you can actually find out here by going to battery, you will have, of course, all the apps here that are taking most of the battery out of your iPhone. Make sure if you don't actually use those apps a lot and they're still consuming a ton of battery, make sure you actually delete them from your device. Also, don't close apps all the time. If you just go ahead and close apps all the time, making them relaunch from the beginning every time you want to use them, they will actually consume a ton of battery, that way causing you to charge your iPhone way more often and the charging cycles will be way higher. Next up will be unnecessary features. Features you try out maybe, or you just wanna have but don't actually use a lot, don't actually use them, especially when it comes to widgets. Don't use widgets on the lock screen and home screen. Don't add them. Don't add a ton of widgets if you're not actually using them and you don't need them. And things like the back tap feature, rise to wake, Siri, always listen to Siri and all those features will actually drain the battery causing you to actually charge your iPhone way more often. So unnecessary features, any features that you know you have enabled on your iPhone, but don't actually use a lot, make sure you disable them. Now, another thing that can harm the battery of your iPhone is leaving your iPhone without charge for too long. Let's say your iPhone's battery dies and you just keep it there without charging. Leaving the iPhone out of charge for a really, really long time can actually damage the battery of, of your iPhone, that way causing the battery health to actually drop really, really fast. So make sure whenever you leave your iPhone somewhere, if you just don't want to use it, make sure that it at least has some charge on it, like 20% or 30% before you turn it off or just put it away when you don't want to use it. Now, one thing I suggest you do is that when you charge your iPhone, don't use it at the same time. Now, of course, if you just want to maybe send a message or maybe just check out something on your social media, you can do that. But if you're charging your iPhone and you're doing any heavy tasks, like let's say playing a game while charging, well, that's not actually very bad, but you will notice that the battery of the iPhone will heat a lot. And this is a big enemy of the battery of the iPhone. 
the heat and of course the cold as well will damage the iphone's battery a lot causing the battery health to actually drop way way faster even though you might not have a ton of charging cycles right there now when it comes to heat make sure that you always use apple chargers and certified chargers if you use fake chargers if you have any time used any fake charger you will notice that they will actually heat up the battery of your iphone very very fast again heating the battery of the iphone is one of the worst things you can do when it comes to using your device now of course exposing your iphone to heat will be very bad especially now that we're actually going into summer leaving your iphone let's say on the dash of your car or somewhere on a place where it will be exposed to heat for a long time that might cause the battery to actually drop in health very very fast and sometimes even without doing anything just leaving your iphone there exposed in the heat you will get the notice on your iphone that you won't be able to actually use it before it cools down that's why you need to make sure that your iphone doesn't overheat when it comes to the battery of your iPhone, another thing that I suggest you don't do is charging your iPhone using a wireless charger. Now you can charge it here and there, but don't use a wireless charger regularly. You know that when you place your iPhone to charge on a wireless charger, most of the time it will get really, really hot. Like I have a wireless charger on my car and if I place the iPhone there for like 10 minutes to charge, it does really heat up a lot. That way, of course, it will have a really bad impact on the battery of the iPhone. The next thing you can do to make sure that you will actually maximize the battery health of your iPhone and keep it as healthy as possible is make sure that you charge your iPhone always between 20 and 80%. Now with the new iPhones, if you go under battery health right here, actually under, under charging optimization, you can choose the 80% limit, which will actually stop the iPhone from charging once it reaches 80%. But other iPhones, the iPhone 14 and earlier won't have this feature. But what you can do is actually go under shortcuts. You can create here an automation. So go to new automation and then go ahead and go to battery level right here so once it equals 80 percent you can just make sure you get a notification so tap on new blank automation and then here we have show notification then you can just tap right here and enter any text you want like maybe battery charge tap the dumb button and you're good to go but of course make sure that you always have here run immediately so you get that notification anytime your iphone is charged at 80 percent now another thing you can do is of course always make sure that you choose optimized battery charging this is the best way to charge your iphone even though sometimes you might feel that your iphone won't be actually fully charged that might be bad and you will run out of battery this is still the best way to charge your iphone it will keep the battery health of your iphone in a good condition for actually a really really long time and last but not least is your ios version now, i see a ton of people now this is crazy the amount of people that keep their iphone not updated is actually insane make sure you always go to software update and you have your iphone updated to the latest ios version this will make sure that all the fixes that all the problems that apple knows about are here they have been fixed on your device is always the best thing you can do on your iphone make sure that you have your device updated all the time now, i see people they update let's say to ios 17 and will maybe even have ios 17.1 on your on their device but they won't then update to the other versions that are released we're currently on 17.5.1 so make sure your device is always updated to the latest ios version so that's basically for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like and of course subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you on the next one